Talking about a busy weekend of weather, and for us, it's been all about the cold. That same system has gone on to produce many kinds of weather across the country. The National Weather Service is actually investigating an apparent tornado. It hit the town of Watumpka, that is in Alabama, north of Montgomery. There's significant damage to about two dozen homes and at least two churches. The town's police station was also hit during the storm. One person was hurt, but the injury is not considered serious. So we will keep following that story. Severe weather really across the Mid-South through the day today, but then up to the north, uh, the Ohio River Valley, and now pushing across the Mid-Atlantic and the Northeast. The wet weather continues. Some heavy snow in places like Indiana and up into Ohio. For us, any snow that fell was super short-lived. It was really very early this morning. Uh, places like Denton picked up a very brief amount of snow, and then of course, it was all gone. That was mainly on elevated surfaces. The rest of us are wondering what snow and still kind of waiting. Maybe some of you still waiting to see some snowfall this season. Everyone, though, seeing the winds today, I'm happy to say they're dying down tonight. So right now, wind speeds are still about 15 to 20 miles an hour overnight into tomorrow. We'll see those winds dying down till about 10 miles per hour. So the wind chill is not going to be nearly as severe as what it was for today. Wind chill values tonight, though, we still have to deal with some super low numbers because it's breezy enough with this cold air to still feel like low 20s, but then overnight after midnight, waking up tomorrow, wind chill values will be there in the mid to upper teens. And then we'll slowly see things improve as we get into tomorrow afternoon. Our conditions right now, 32 already, DFW, Fort Worth at 30. The feels like temperature, 21 for Fort Worth. Feels like 25 in Dallas. And again, winds are coming down out of the north under 15 miles per hour. Actual temperatures mainly in the upper 20s, to the low 30s at this hour will continue to fall into the 20s, but our feels like temperature, it's already there. 19 is how it feels right now in McKinney. It feels like 21 currently in Denton. Overnight tonight, falling to the mid to upper 20s. So, yes, everyone below freezing tonight. Through the day tomorrow, lots of sunshine, lighter winds that turn out of the south, and a bit of a warm up actually. Highs tomorrow close to 50 degrees. We're also going to get a lot of sunshine. So, through the day tomorrow, Yes, you'll want that big coat waking up tomorrow early on. Even chilly into the afternoon, just not going to be nearly as windy. And then as we get into the start of next week, a mild setup. We're dry on Monday. Very warm setup in the low 60s for Monday. Still a warm majority of Tuesday. That is until late Tuesday into the night. A cold front pushing through. Isolated showers will be possible primarily east of 35. And of course, our temperatures will drop back down. We're seeing temperatures on on Wednesday, highs back in the upper 40s. Tonight's forecast, 27. Tomorrow, 49, not quite as cold as today. And the extended forecast, at least we get a mild start to next week before another cool down there Tuesday into Wednesday. Annalise.